Hello everyone, we will continue the topic data browser and we will learn few more features of data browser in this video. So firstly, I will again go to SC16 transaction code, which is the transaction code for data browser. This is my order header table. I will press enter and I will execute. So as of now, that data of all six columns is coming. Suppose I want to only see the data of two columns, order number and payment code. And in the previous video, I explained how you can do that. Settings, formal list, choose fields. So as of now, every column is ticked. I will deselect and I will choose order number and payment. I will apply. I will go to execute. And you can see data of only two columns is appearing, is appearing as of now. Suppose after one hour, I want to check the data of this table again. I will pass the table name. I will go to execute button. But have you seen the six column data is coming? Now the question comes, yes. So every time whenever I'm running, yes, the data of all columns is coming. If I want to see the data of two column, do I need to every time go to settings, formal list and choose fields? No. You can save your layout and next time you can choose that particular layout because in this case, what is happening? Suppose whenever I will run again after some time or if you close the session and you are coming again, yes, we will be able to see all the columns. But yes, if I want the selected column every time, I can save that particular layout and every time I can use that particular layout. Suppose simple. I will go for choose fields. Suppose I want, I will go for order number and payment mode. Two columns are coming in the output. The data of two columns is coming in the output. Now I will save this layout. How to save? You can simply, simply go to settings layout you can go for save now you can give any name to the layout it is totally totally your wish suppose i will give the name to the layout suppose i will say order suppose i will give the name of the layout as order i will give some short description suppose i am saying order details now you can go for checkbox user specific and ideally we should go because this layout is you created this you are creating this particular type this particular layout so once you choose this user specific this layout is visible to you only and ideally we should do that yes sir. so as we are creating this particular layout yes we are saving so we will go for user specific so this particular layout will not be visible to others. For my convenience, I'm creating this particular layout. I will go for OK. Done. Now I will simply, simply come again to that table. Suppose I will go to SC16. Now I will go to Execute. Data of all columns is coming, but you can see that data of selected columns. So how you can choose that layout? You can simply, simply go to settings, layout, choose. And what the name we gave to the layout? Order. So I will choose this particular layout. And you can see we have two columns data. So this is the way how we can reduce our efforts, how we can reduce our time 
by using the inbuilt features of SAP. Now, now suppose as of now you are seeing the data of two column because you save this layout. Now, suppose you want to add one more column to this existing layout. So how you can do? You can simply, simply go to settings. You can go for layout. You can go for change. And you can see as of now, our layout has how many displayed column? Two. Order number, payment mode. Whatever the other columns are there, they are appearing here. Whatever the columns I will move here, they will also be the they will also become the part of my layout. Suppose I want to add suppose total amount. So I'll simply select. I will go for this particular icon. So this total amount move to this particular area. So now we have three displayed columns. I will go for OK. Now I will go for settings. I will go for layout and I will save. So I change my existing layout and I added the extra column. Yes, I will simply, simply go for OK. Yes, I want to override. Yes, because I am adding the extra column to the existing layout. So I will override. So now if I will come again after some time. I will press enter. I will go to execute. I will go to settings, layout, choose. Now if I will choose my layout, this is the layout which I created. Now you can see I have three columns. Rather than doing the changes to the existing layout, you can create new one also. Suppose initially when I created the layout, two columns were there. Then I added the extra column to the layout. I can create a new layout also. The two columns layout will be as it is and I can create a new layout with three columns. Suppose I want to create a layout, new layout. Settings. Layout, I will go for, sub, I will go for, suppose I will go for simply, simply change. So as of now, we have three columns. Now suppose I will add extra column. I will go for OK. Now we have four columns layout. I can go for settings, layout, I will go for save. Now, rather than going for existing name, now I will give new name. Suppose I will say order 2. This is our order details 2 layout. Order details, second layout or I'll say second version of layout. Order details, second version. I will go for OK. Now I'm not overriding existing one. I'm creating a new, new layout. Now I created a new layout with four columns. So if I will go to table, I will go to execute, settings, layout, choose. And you can see our both layouts are appearing. If I will go for order, it has three columns. If I will go for order two, it has four columns. So it is totally your wish. You want to override the existing layout or you want to create the new one. Now, next thing. Suppose I'm every time going to SC16, so whenever we are going for the first time, data of all columns is appearing, then we are choosing the specific layout. Now, maximum time people ask, is it possible that whenever I will click on to the execute button, by default, whatever the layout I saved, it should appear there. Yes, it is also possible. 
suppose i will execute what you can do in that case you can go to settings layout you can go for manage so we created this two layout order and order two but yes default will be one at a time you cannot go for more than one default suppose i will make this order as default so i will simply simply click here and i will make it as a default have you seen default is ticked i just double click and now the default tick is coming so i will go for save now whenever i will run or whenever i will come to sc16 this default layout will come and this is user specific so it is only only visible to me that's why i am saying you are whenever you are creating layout and you only want to restrict it to yourself go for user specific now whenever i will run have you seen this three column data is appearing for the first time so where because i set this as a default previously whenever you are coming for the first time then the data of all columns are appearing then you are choosing the specific layout now what we did i put one layout one user specific layout as default also so whenever we are coming for the first time this default layout is coming and all these features are widely widely used in the projects because ultimately they reduced our efforts now what is the summary of the video in this video we studied that yes we can save user specific layout because it is never the case that you want to go for the data of 200 column 250 column 100 column you always always want to see the data of some specific columns but what is happening rather than every time just going to settings formal list choose field you can only do for the first time then you can save that particular thing as a layout then you can choose that particular layout every time which has those specific columns yes you can over you can add the extra columns to the existing layout in that case you can you are overriding the existing layout you can create new layout also yes now you can make any layout as default also if whenever you are making any layout as default so first time whatever the layout you set as default that will appear now now we can delete the layout also the so way we can delete the layouts also if you want to delete you can go for settings you can go to layout you can go to manage suppose i want to delete these layouts whatever the layouts i created so you can simply select and you can see we have a delete button so you can delete the layout also it is totally totally your wish and ultimately change part we already covered so that's it in this particular video in the next video yes we will cover few more features yes as a part of data browser so that's it in this video thank you